Uh, hi, my name is Jackson Traeger. I'm a psychology PhD student in the Morality and Language Lab at USC under Dr. Morteza Degani. And today we'll be talking about the morality of excessive wealth or how individuals and groups uh, deal with the ethical question of too much money. And as we see from this Twitter exchange from Bernie Sanders and Elon Musk, um, some people find having too much money in the system we have now to be morally wrong. Some people find it to be less of a serious issue. So a little brief background. Um, this idea of the ethical question of having too much money is nothing new. Um, we can think of the, you know, it's harder for a rich man to enter heaven than it is for a camel to enter the eye of a needle. There's rich literature on uh, the equality of distribution of resources and how people find it wrong. Um, it has to do with this idea of fairness oftentimes. We go back to that Bernie Sanders tweet, him talking about the fair share, people paying their fair share. But with the idea of this fairness in literature, um, if you look at this Elon Musk tweet at the bottom, um, he's also talking about an element of fairness, um, working 16 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks in a year, and people still calling me lucky. As troubling as some of those aspects of that tweet are, he's still talking about an aspect of fairness, similar to like what Paul Canerco, this baseball player down here is, you get what you earn. And this idea of fairness has to do with something called like proportionality or equality of procedure and equality of treatment. Um, the fairness research uh, has split this idea up a couple of times. Uh, the newest labels uh, that people have been using is the difference between equality, um, the, how uh, equal outcomes are moral and unequal outcomes are immoral, um, kind of like this cartoon at the top right here. And the proportionality has to do with equal procedure, equal outcome. And so when you ask people, what do you think about fairness? Um, they often have two very different ideas of what fairness are. When we talk about who has more money and whether it's moral or not, um, we think this differences of how people define fairness might be at play at the individual level. Um, we also think there's going to be some cultural level uh, values that might be at play here or factors such as how much inequality you have in your society. If you're in a very equal society, maybe you see those who have a lot of money um, as morally wrong. If you're in a super unequal society, maybe you'll have some system justification thinking it's uh, more day to day. And so our project aimed to address these questions. Um, so what did we do? We uh, recruited close to 4,000 participants from 19 diverse countries, and we asked them about morality and money. Um, we used the MFQ2, which is actually an updated version of the Moral Foundation questionnaire um, you just heard about Farzan talk about. The original one had those five foundations, care, fairness, um, loyalty, authority, and purity. This new one splits fairness between equality and proportionality. So instead of five foundations, it actually has six foundations and ask people about equality, equal outcomes, and proportionality, equal procedure. So we're hopefully that shows our little difference. Um, we also gather their country level uh, inequality through the Gini coefficient, um, their economic freedom index, how much they endorse free market institutions, um, other demographics, and their dependent variable, which we just asked them, is having too much money morally wrong? Um, we gathered three main hypotheses, one about the country level, which was if you're in a more equal society, you'll think having too much money is morally wrong um, and vice versa. And the other two hypotheses were about the individual level. If you endorse equality, you'll think having too much money is wrong. If you endorse proportionality, you'll think it's more justifiable. Um, so we plugged that data into a beautiful multi-level model that adjusted for those individual variables and that nested inside the country. Um, and we found mixed results as always in science. Um, our first hypothesis for country level inequality, we did not find anything significant with it predicting how much uh, people found excessive wealth uh, moral. With the individual factors, we found, again, mixed results. Um, equality did show to predict how much people thought it was wrong. So the more you endorse morality, this blue line here on the right, um, the more you endorsed uh, equality, the more you found excessive wealth to be morally wrong. And proportionality, we had the right direction, um, but we did not find it to be significant. So we, did, as much as you would endorse proportionality, you would think it was actually justifiable that people have a lot of money or too much money, um, but not significant. Um, we found some interesting stuff with the other variables we found, such so as purity, even when controlling for religiosity, the more you endorse purity, uh, the more you find having too much money to be wrong. Um, and then we found uh, something we expected with conservatism, which is the more you're conservative, the uh, less you find it be, uh, being wrong. But what's interesting here is that it's much less predictive than equality. So if you're asking the question of um, is having too much money morally wrong, it's much better to look at someone's moral values to predict it than just whether they uh, are conservative or not. Um, so our implications here, um, the idea of fairness, splitting it between proportionality and quality, this adds a lot of uh, credence to that argument. Um, the use of MFQ2 to understand differences in opinion, 
Um, when it comes to inequality, this adds to what values matter, um, what country level factors uh, come into it. And of course, um, instead of just wondering what Elon Musk and Bernie Sanders thinks about fairness, um, we took people from 19 diverse countries and uh, try to work on this non-weird psychology issue. Um, of course, like Jay mentioned like 15 times, uh, this is not just correlational stuff. We need to get some experiments going. We're going to work on it um, and find our data and stuff here. And uh, thank you to my awesome collaborators. <laughs>